Building an online store and selling your handmade products online these days is easier than it's ever been because you can find all the information you need online for free. But overwhelm and information overload have become a real issue and especially for handmade shop owners. Too many ideas, too much information. How are you meant to know what to focus on? When you're the creative inspiration, the maker, the customer service assistant, the website manager, the packaging and fulfillment assistant, the photographer, the bookkeeper, and the marketer, it's incredibly hard to know what to focus on. And figuring out what really works is the hardest part of building a business, and many go out of business before they can figure it out. There's so many marketing channels, so much advice, and so much trial and error. But worst of all, there is so much free information online. And as much as we think we're doing the right thing, always learning about new strategies and trying to learn new business skills, we might be doing our businesses a big disservice. If you feel like you're full to the brim of information, but you're having the hardest time actually growing your business, this video is for you. Information overload can let you feel like you're droning in information. And trust me, I suffered from this condition for a long time before I took back control of my time and started making conscious decisions about what I should be learning about and what I shouldn't. Free webinars, free trainings, free guides, free Facebook groups, free coaching Q&A live calls, free everything, free forums, there is so many free resources out there and it is great. It really truly is a great thing that we get access to this in, we didn't have that 10 years ago. So, you know, thank you, the internet. But at the same time, you don't need to learn how to do all of these things at the same time. That's just overwhelming, right? It's making you spend too much time in theory mode and not enough time actually implementing the strategies you've learned and actually growing your business. The problem is we don't want to miss out. And fair enough, if you get an email in the morning um, saying that there's this free webinar next week promising to teach you how to gain a new, you know, your next thousand followers on Instagram in less than 30 days, of course you want to take it because it's free, it seems great, and you're thinking, well, you know, it's only free next week, so I really should should attend this thing. But what if you didn't even want to focus on Instagram for your business and this just wasn't part of your plan? You're just adding to the noise in your head. And you're probably going to do this again for a Facebook webinar the week after that, and maybe you've read a newsletter this morning telling you how to use SEO more efficiently and this thing just starts building up in your mind and you get really confused about what works, what doesn't and what should you really focus on. So what can we do about this? Well, the first thing to understand is that all of these different strategies people keep on telling you you should do, you should do this, you should do that, they all work. At the end of the day, Instagram works, Pinterest works, Facebook works. Any sort of traffic source, uh, if you master it, can bring you customers and sales. But you need to master it and that's key because this comes with a bit of commitment to one specific marketing channel at a time. What I recommend you do is lock in for the next three months one marketing strategy or one marketing channel that you really want to master and focus exclusively on this. So if you decide that over the next three months you're going to grow your business using Instagram, then yes, I want you to go and take all the free training you can and start implementing strategies about Instagram. But I don't want you to get sidetracked uh, by a Pinterest workshop or a Facebook workshop or anything that's not directly related to the marketing channel you're trying to master at this exact moment. And so what I do is I keep a folder in my email inbox where I file all those emails that look really interesting but that I know are off topic and not related to the thing I'm focusing on at the moment. 
This is handy because it means that in the, for the next three months, if I change my plan and want to focus on something else, then I can go back into this folder and find resources that are going to help me grow my business over the next three months. But at least it keeps my mind focused on exactly what I'm trying to achieve over the next three months for my marketing. And it allows me to really block out the noise and go, okay, no, you know what? This isn't something I should do right now. And I shouldn't care about this amazing training, even if it's free, because this is not what I'm focusing on right now. So pick one channel, one marketing channel, commit to it and stop listening to advice about things that are not related to what you're trying to do at the moment. It's time we'll reclaim our time, make room in our minds and get rid of this clouds of noise of strategies and things that we don't have time to implement so that we gain clarity, focus, and ultimately grow our businesses much, much faster. If you've liked this video, please let a comment below and let me know what are you focusing on at the moment on your business and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Every Tuesday, I release a new video to help you grow your handmade business. See y'all later.